Yes, I am so excited for this feature, guys. This is something that I've been waiting for for a really long time. This is finally one-click support for exporting your DynamoDB tables to a JSON file. This used to be a massive pain to do, to just get a data dump of your DynamoDB table. Uh, this is something that's very, very common where you have a table, you need to grab all the data, maybe run a report on it or something like that, and you have it in your DynamoDB data store. Now, the way that you had to do this previously before this feature was launched, I'll just show you here really quick. Uh, you had to set up a AWS data pipeline and that would launch on Amazon EMR cluster and that would read off of your DynamoDB table and then write it to your S3 bucket. I tried to set this up and it was just ridiculously complicated and I gave up after around five to 10 minutes of trying to get it to work. With this new feature, you don't have to worry about any of this. You can do it all through the AWS console and AWS takes care of all of it for you. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you do it in this video. Uh, so let's close this out and head over to the console where I can show you how to get started. By the way, this is a great read, this article here on the AWS blog. This feature just got released two days ago. I expect it to be very popularly used. Uh, so go and check out this blog post. I'll put it in the description section below. So here we are in the AWS console. Let's just make that a bit bigger. Uh, so we're going to go to the DynamoDB section to get this thing started. Uh, and you're also gonna notice a new UI here. In order to use this new feature, um, you, well, actually they have an advertisement up here. You can now export DynamoDB table data to Amazon S3 by using the new DynamoDB console. Yes, that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do, so stay tuned. So we're gonna go to uh, create table first, and I actually already have a table, so I don't need to do this. So let's just go to the table section. Uh, so I have a transactions table. This doesn't contain a whole lot of data. This is really just for demonstration purposes. I just wanna show you uh, how it works. And you'll notice when I clicked on that, this is not the view that you're probably familiar with when you're using DynamoDB. Uh, usually you have that side panel that shows you all your tables, and then on the right is where all your items are located. You can see now it's very, very different. This is actually the item. So I just have a transaction ID and I have the rows of the entries that are in my table. So in order to start exporting, it's very, very simple. And by the way, if you don't see this new UI, it's actually required in order to use the export functionality. You can't export using the old UI tool. Uh, there should be like a ribbon at the top of your page here that says, would you like to try the new UI? Make sure you click that or else you're not gonna be able to see what I see here. Uh, so once you're here and you've selected your table, go to streams and exports, and you're going to click on this button here, export to S3. You can see here, I already was testing this out a little bit. So this was uh, an example of what you'll see after you export. Uh, so you click on export to S3. And then from here, you need to put in your destination S3 bucket. Now keep in mind that in order to do this, you need to enable point in time recovery on your DynamoDB table. That essentially just gives you access to the restoration functionality where you can kind of roll back to a previous version of your table. So that is required in order to use this feature. Uh, so once you have that, it'll actually give you a warning if you try to do this and you don't have that enabled. I already have it enabled, so you don't have to worry about any of that. Um, so in order to get this going, we need to select our destination S3 bucket, and they have a neat feature here. So browse S3, I like that. Uh, so DynamoDB export demo, this is one that I created specifically for this demo. Uh, they got some additional settings here, so you can export from a specific point of time, so from maybe a point earlier. Uh, if you want it in JSON or ION format, I'm gonna just leave it on default in JSON, and then the type of encryption that you want. That's literally all you need to do. So once you've set all your parameters, you just click on export and this thing is going to go. You're gonna see over here now in the kind of uh, result summary section that you'll see this exporting status. And uh, if you refresh the page, let me just refresh the page. Sometimes this takes a, a little while. In the first run, it took like almost 15 minutes or so. So I'm gonna fast forward this and come back when it's all done. All right, guys, so this took around five minutes or so to get exported, but it is finally done. As you can see by the status here, it is now completed. Uh, so in order to see the results, all we have to do is just click on the destination bucket that we see here. This should bring us to the S3 console if everything worked. There we go. And now we are in the bucket that I just created and specified for this example. You'll notice here at the bottom, we have this uh, new subfolder at AWS DynamoDB. Gonna click on that. 
and we have this folder in here too and we have all this fancy stuff inside of this uh, folder now so these are just metadata files to tell you a little bit about the contents of the files uh, but to get the actual data that you downloaded it's actually in this uh, gzip compressed json file so to grab this data and take a look at it you're going to click on it so we're going to go to the top right where it says object actions over here we're going to click on open and so this file just got saved to my local and let me just drag that over here all right so here is the uh, gzip compressed json file i'm just going to find this guy i'm going to right click on it and then i'm using 7-zip to open this guy it's just a decompression tool i'm going to click on open archive now we have the actual raw json file grab that over there and now we can open this thing with whatever tool that you want i'm going to just use vs code and here we go here's our data raw as it gets uh, finally, we have a tool now to actually do this just in a few clicks. Unfortunately, it takes a little bit of time to export it, but you know what? If, as long as it simplifies things for me, I'm happy. So if you enjoyed this video, check out the other ones on DynamoDB on the right here, and I'll see you next time.